stay here in the nest. So good morning. It is Monday, February 5th. Um, we are at Fairview Elementary and we are just ready to give it our all today. It is Black History Month. We will continue the celebration this month. Um, teachers, please make sure you take a look at Mr. Benjamin's email for our door competition. And we also have a spirit week next week. So hopefully I'll be able to um, have some guests on the morning show as we celebrate Black History Month with integrity, excellence, and teamwork. So on a scale of Taylor Swift, how are you feeling today? On a scale of Taylor, Taylor Swift, how are you feeling today? Well, we know Super Bowl's coming up. <laughs> and she is America's daughter. So how are we feeling today? I think it's Monday. I feel like I'm a number five. Let's give it a number five. Let's pull it a number five today. How are you all feeling? Please look to your shoulder partner and tell them how swifty are you feeling today? Which one? Do I hear any number twos? Ah, any number sevens out there? I really hope there's no number eight. I don't want anyone crying today, okay? We all want to start our week off on a positive note and feel good about what we're here to do. So I cannot wait to hear how swifty you are feeling today. All right, friends, let's review our Fairview Five. Number one, actively listen to the speaker. You have to actively listen in order to know what is being asked of or told. Number two, keep your hands and feet to yourself so that we can protect ourselves and others. Number three, clean up your area. It takes all of us to do this. Number four, be kind to others with your words and your actions. And y'all already know it. It's my favorite. Do your best daily, all day long, wherever you are. And of course, we don't just practice the five. We also make sure we do those with integrity, excellence, and teamwork here at Fairview, okay? All right, guys. And no, we don't just want to do the Fairview Five in the classroom. We also want to be hallway ready. We want to be recess ready. And of course, we're always classroom ready, but make sure that you are if you aren't, right? But guys, it's, the Fairview Five is for wherever you are in this building or outside of this building. I know we have some field trips coming up. So we take the Fairview Five with us. We take our integrity, our excellence, and our teamwork with us outside of the building. We practice it here. It's like you practice things at home. And then you do those things as well when you're other places, okay? So we want to be classroom ready, hallway ready, recess ready, even field trip ready, right? And the only way we can do that is to make sure we are following the Fairview Five. All right, friends, the Fairview Five for instruction. You all are becoming great listeners and thinkers, even talkers, about what you're supposed to talk about. And then last week, we discussed reflecting. And this week, we're at the final phase of our wheel. We are going to be creators. We're going to create new tasks or complete a task once we have listened We've thought about what we've learned, we've talked about it, and we've reflected upon it. So what does that look like? Well, you're working, you're completing a task. You may be in a small group, it may be independent, it may be whole group, but you are completing or a task or creating a new product. And what does that sound like? Well, depends on what your teacher's instructions are. It, I could hear talking, I could hear some thinking, some questioning, or it may be the time where we don't hear anything because your teacher wants you to work independently to create your own thoughts and your own ideas. So that's why you have to actively listen to the teacher or the adult that's given the instructions so you will know what creating sounds like, whether you're able to talk or if this is a time you just need to think and write down your information, all right? So let's practice that this week in our classrooms, creating 
new learning or completing a task and what does that look like then people and i want to see scholars actively doing that not just scribbling something down we don't do that here at fairview we actively create we actively complete we are engaged in our learning when we had our readers last week a lot of them said your scholars were engaged they truly wanted to know what was being read to them and i explained to them we have the fairview 54 instruction so yes they were listening and while they were listening they were you got it they were thinking and they waited to have the opportunity to talk so guys make sure we're we're practicing that wherever we are and how often that we can all right, so you know what it is. We're selling our yearbooks. Guess what, friends? We have sold 22 books as of Friday. We would we have a goal to sell 35 books by the end of this week. Who's going to help us meet our goal? Is it you? No, it's you. Or could it be you? Guys, it could be any of you. So help us meet our goal this week of selling 35 books. We want to move from 22 books to 35 books. Who's going to help us do that? Can I hear it? Can I can I hear anyone tell me that they're going to help us? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. I cannot wait till we get to celebrate our books coming in and us having our signing day. Guys, like I said a couple of weeks ago, it's been 10 years since we've had a yearbook and it's just going to be awesome when we get them back. I know you will enjoy it. All right, friends. So it is Black History Month, as I said before, and we're going to talk about my friend Shaka Khan today. But before we start talking about her, let me give you just a little taste of her music. All right, so hopefully you were able to hear that. And if not, then I'll play it for you again shortly. But Shaka, Shaka Khan is an idol in the music world. She has produced music from R&B to pop to jazz. She's a singer. She's a songwriter, producer, author, actor, activist, entrepreneur, and a mother. All right, guys. So and she started her career in 1970. 1970. Even Miss Fuller wasn't born in 1970. So, guys, Shaka Khan has released not one, not two, but 22 albums. Can you believe that? 22 albums. She even has a street named after her in Chicago called Shaka Khan Way. She founded the Shaka Khan Foundation, which supports women and children that need support so thank you to shaka khan for doing all that she has done and what made me even more interested in her is that not only does she sing or produce music but she cares about scholars as well so thank you shaka khan for everything guys this is just one person you may see or hear about from the door competition so teachers make sure you sign up with miss bats today and i cannot wait to see who wins our black history three door competition all right friends it is time to put away your cell phones and so that we can lessen all distractions here in the nest when we are going through the hallway we are at a voice level of what that is correct thank you miss mcclain's class a voice level zero because we do not want to disrupt learning learning is so important and we have to make sure every minute matters and the way we can do that is by traveling in the hallways at a voice level of zero we have our access testing beginning today please be sure that we are traveling at that voice level of zero in the hallways so that we can provide a respectful testing environment for our staff and scholars so access testing is just as important as dibbles cogat eogs interims nwea so make sure that we are being respectful in the hallways and the best way to do that is a voice level of zero all right 
bathroom break should be taken as a whole class unless it's an emergency. Other than that, it is all together. Everyone going at once, bathroom breaks. We will have cheer practice on Tuesday and a basketball game on Wednesday. Guys, please remember if you do not play or cheer, if you're not a basketball player or a cheerleader, you have to attend the game with an adult. Okay, so I'm saying this again. If you are not a cheerleader or a basketball player, you have to attend the game with, a, with an adult. You cannot be at the game unsupervised. All right, friends. And then also we will have clubs this week on Thursday. Let's continue hitting the mark in the nest this week. Of course, coming to school, I need all staff and scholars here at school all day and every day and on time. It makes a difference when we're all here on time and when we come to school. We can follow the Fairview Five and make this the best experience for not only ourselves, but for others around us if we are all here at school and on time. And that includes Ms. Fuller. So I try my best to model that for staff and scholars. Follow the Fairview Five when you're here. That's another way we can hit the mark here in the nest. And of course, listening, thinking, talking, reflecting, creating, all of those things help us to hit the mark every single day here in the nest. All right, friends, breaking news. Y'all already know what it is. Are y'all ready? Sit up straight. Get your strong voice ready. Here we go. Good is good. Great is great. But Shout it out. Elite is elite. Thank you so much, friends. I cannot wait to hear about the great things that you do today and this week in the nest. And I cannot wait to see who joins us on the morning announcements on Friday. Have an awesome day. Bye. -bye.